What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. Skiddy scat, rickety rat, booba doo boo. Booba doo boo. Yeah. <laughs> booba doo boo indeed. Oh, I'm red. <laughs> I that was a it. full surprise to me, man. <laughs> you get one shot. Yeah. Do not miss your chance. Don't throw it away. And Welcome you did in. It. <laughs> I got an eight out of ten from uh, Al Borland. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Little non-traditional ending. Look, you got to you got to close strong and boobity boop. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna get it done. Welcome in. This is episode <laughs> two fifty. Oh, two fifty. Fifty. Two fifty. 50. I'm 250. <laughs> Uh, welcome in. Would you rather? What's the difference? And we are drafting the worst animals to be reincarnated as mm-hmm. on today's show, mm-hmm. which should be very interesting. Yeah, we're there's gonna some body some animals <laughs> today. <laughs> there's some choices out there that, um, you know, if you're rolling the dice, so to speak, you wouldn't mm-hmm. want it to land on. Uh, well, we'll get to it, mm-hmm. but um, and then there's ones. I mean, we're not. I guess we'll eventually. Maybe we'll do the other draft, so I can't even hint at that. But the best, yeah. There, I mean, there's some animals I'd really love to give a give Abs- it a go. Absolutely, yeah, like it, we would just draft nonstop hawks. I like, was going to say eagle. I know. I, that's I, what I, I, of I, course, the entire draft is just like, is what that, bird do you want to be? Would you, is like, the bald eagle the coolest bird in the um, world? The California condor. Ew! What? The condor, that's is that the like dumbest really animal one? ever. I, I think the condor is the largest yeah. flying disgusting. animal. Disgusting. I don't want to be that. I want to be the. It's on my list for today. I want to be the hawk what? that does the, oh, the, it would the be dive a bomb where you're going like over 100 miles an hour. Yeah, or like a falcon. Yeah. Because you can go really fast. I don't remember what. Oh, it my sounds gosh. like we need a coolest bird draft. Yeah. <laughs> You're looking at the old condor. I, I had no idea that a condor yeah, you know, was this ugly. I mean, it's one of those. <laughs> I mean, that face is wrong. It's just. <laughs> All right, I'm on yeah, it. Yeah, no, I mean. And, and Neither of you know wads. how ugly they are? No, I just knew that it oh. was a giant bird, but it, their face is inappropriate. So. <laughs> that yeah. is. Yeah, my my Google filter is blocking it. Actually, yeah. <laughs> it yeah. just say it blurs the face yeah. of all the condors. Yeah, yeah, you do not want to Google California condor. Goodness, safe gracious. search is on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, welcome in I at had Spitballers no, I had Pod. No idea. Yeah, I, I thought this was a big. You liked the hawk. you liked the wingspan you had heard about. Yeah, you didn't realize it had such a. No, uh, I would not want to live with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, face that a what a, only a mother could love. I don't think a mom's loving this. <laughs> No. no way. No, that's uh, when it got in wingspan and lo- it made up for an ew. This is the ugliest thing. I mean, this is terrible audio. I, re- I realize that, but oh, everyone's and, no- yeah. Pull out your phone. Be safe, but just you got to look at this California contour. It's <laughs> gross, man. You did a quick, quick swap there. Yeah, well, I yeah. saw it. It's- now you know why it's in the draft today. Oh, man, I know what the one-on-one is. It's in the Goodness list. gracious. All right, let's get going. Would you rather? Just, <laughs> these guys I can't just, get past it. Just, <laughs> I can't get past it. Ear holes just open to the world. Just, just cavities. They're like, do you want yeah. some ears? <laughs> nah. Just put a hole here. A should hole. we should we cover that up? No. What should we do with your neck? Ah, you don't want to know. <laughs> you don't want to know what we're gonna make your neck do. Oh man! But you'll be able to fly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some trade offs. And that that's the key. Get it to a distance where you couldn't make yeah. out its face. <laughs> <laughs> Our chat is just its just blowing up with pictures of these California condors, and it's bad. <laughs> it's got a very smooth neck. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> man, uh, we're into a segment now, right, Al? How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Noah from the website, would you rather only be able to clean yourself by <laughs> jumping in a lake? So no soap or shampoo. You just okay. jump in and get out? Just on natural. You, you can swim around, scrub if you want. But Oh, you can, but just no soap, no shampoo, jump in a lake. Is it really scrubbing? I think so. You, I mean, I think you get a little like, bit of dirt okay. off. Or have full access to soap and shampoo, but only be able to clean yourself using your hands in a two-gallon bucket of clean water. So well, so we've got we've to deal with one issue first. Leeches? 
Uh, okay, two issues, <laughs> right? Like, clearly, <laughs> Leech is, is up there. Um, but I was thinking, so we live in Arizona, mm -hmm. and there is actually a lake, but it is... It's a ways away. It's a ways away. Yeah. So it's like... Well, you got those uh, community park lakes you can go to. Are those lakes? Yeah, those are lakes. They're man-made lakes. Are they... But what's the water situation in It's there? very shallow. I wouldn't jump in from a high distance. Well, I guess, and then they keep fish in there, yeah. so it's not just nasty I'm water. just saying if you don't want to drive up to Lake right. Pleasant... It's also public. Then there's a problem with public bathing. <laughs> You'll have to go swimsuit. I'd say for this question, Lake Pleasant is in your backyard. You could just go outside okay. in your All backyard right. okay. and jump in Lake Pleasant. But okay. you do you have to deal with the uh, the, the temperature. You also got to smell. Lake. I mean, lakes smell. You get out Some of lake of water, you smell. Yeah, no, you, you're not wrong. Uh, Are I, there lakes that don't smell? Not really. I mean, Lake Tahoe doesn't smell. Okay, because it's so deep and pure, but. Most lakes, you're going to come out smelling, about the, uh, smelling like a lake, man. Hey, hey, Michigan boy, how about the Great Lakes? Are they stinky up there? Yeah. Is it a great stink? There's some stank up there. There's some what? stank. What? Yeah. Because things grow in lakes. Is it, the, is it uh, the, the, the sea life? Or not sea, but the lake life? Is it like the fish? Are they making it smell up there? No idea. The fish and the bacteria and the algae and the moss and the... You ever been to... Uh, there's urine. some lakes up north and the urine. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Not just from us, but from the fish. They be peeing. Yeah, of course. Where are they supposed to yeah, go? Yeah, they don't. I mean, they don't have a spot. <laughs> but um, so you, you're going to smell like a lake a little bit. The, okay. the bucket of water thing, I think I'd go with that one. It's not I mean, two gallons. I could get it done. I think I could get it done. I'd have a habit. And one, at, once again, we'd be talking about, you know, you get your pits and your privates yeah. and you're moving on. Yeah, this, this I think this is actually a pretty easy answer. Uh, you're two, going bucket. Yeah, you got to go bucket. You got to go soap. And if you just have a rag. It just says clean water. No rag. The question says just your hands. That is true. All right, fine. <laughs> but I just use my hands anyways. Yeah, yeah, but you have an endless supply of water That's that correct. you can rub your hands through. Yeah, that comes out at water pressure that I don't have to pour on myself. Exactly. So that that, that makes of, that makes the yeah. hands a little harder. Like if because I'm thinking of rag, you dip it in there and then. Okay, you're let me let me ask you this. Let's say you have the two gallon bucket of water. Okay. I'm thinking about process here. I'm going to want personally some sort of final splash. Yes. So how I'm going to have to conserve water up until half. the final. That's what I think about a. And do you go over the top for the final splash? Yes, absolutely. Really? Yeah. In the in the hair and everything. Huh? The problem is, is the final splash if you. You know, if you miss, if you haven't really, you're going to be soapy all day. Well, uh, do we get soap? Yeah. Oh, full yeah, access to soap yeah. and shape. Okay. So that one, yeah, you're like, okay. you got soap scum or just soap residue, <laughs> not scum. Well, I don't know why that it's that's commercials coming out. It's still the it's still the way to go. I'm taking the bucket. Yeah, for sure. Okay. John from Patreon writes in, you now have free travel for life. All right. Which yes. uh, I just brought this up the other day. There was a guy that bought a all-time pass in the mm. 80s, and it's two round-trip tickets for free on any flight ever, and he's flown for like 35 years taking people with him, going to lunch in Hong Kong and coming back that night. Yeah. First class. So free travel for life, but you must choose. Would you rather have unlimited air travel but sitting coach in the very back of the plane or unlimited bus travel via a private luxury tour bus. Oh, okay, oh. I'm, I'm taking that bus, baby. I am in the camp. It's, that's a long time, though, man. You're not going internationally, clearly. Correct. I mean, that you have chosen to go domestically to your destinations of choice. So you lose that. Well, some of it. You can't go to, like, Europe, but you can go to Canada. You can go down to South America. If... Trains were renewed as a form of transportation yeah. in this country. Yeah. And it was Hogwarts Express style. Mm -hmm. I get a cabin. Yeah. I have been, I want to be in a plane or a train that gives me a cabin. Yeah. Give me a cabin. Well, you just got it. It's a luxury bus. <laughs> it's a it's giant. Am I driving it? No, no. You don't then drive Then I'm going own... with the bus. Yes. Of course. Because like, imagine this. Okay. So the downside is speed. Right, yeah. the downside yeah, is where, speed. Where so are you if, wanting to go? You know, though? if Probably I go to California, that's, accidents. Th that's that's easy. Well, yeah. let's take accidents yeah. out. But let's say, okay, the the problem is speed. I want to go to Florida. Right, we're in Arizona. It's a it's going to be a lot longer. Do you want to know what just happened to my trip? It got better. It got better. Did I'm, it? 
Yes, because I'm on a luxury cabin bus. Dude, would you like to guess how many hours of driving it takes to get from Arizona to Florida? I'm going to guess oh, that's 21. Be... I'm going to go more than that. 33. Yeah. Sounds like I got 33 hours to party. <laughs> that's a long time, man. You're going to get bored domestically. I, I think you're going to be we're going to be sitting coach in the plane. Yeah, just, hitting, hitting up Europe for free just for fun to go get some beignets or something over in France. So you're saying you want an international trip to get a beignet sitting squished next to two people? I want the option. Yeah. And if you're going to Florida. You can go to uh, Louisiana and get yourself a beignet. See you in like a week. Florida is what? A, like a three and a half, four hour flight? Yeah. Some, dude, just knock it out. I mean, coach, you're saying you can you kind of. You think you can get some habits, like flight habits, that would make Coach more tolerable? Yes. Yeah. I mean, the look. I the back of the plane's bad, right? Yeah. No. Okay. The All back right. of the plane is fine. The back of the plane is is fine. It's just you have to wait forever once you've taxied and everyone's getting out of the plane. It's like an extra fifteen minutes on on oh, the plane. Oh, that's right. Yeah. But that's that's whatever. But you're right by the bathroom, which that's a downside. No. Bro. See, in most cases, I think that's that's better. Hmm. Until someone yes. decides to yes. have themselves a, an emergency <laughs> if, landing. If someone shouts, I'm going to wreck it, yeah. and then steps into the bathroom. Is that what they say now? That's yeah. what you have yeah. to say. You're yeah. required to say that? you gotta yeah. let you got to let the back of the plane know what's about to happen. That's like that guy that went into I'm that Home Depot. Yeah. I'm fixing to blow this place up. <laughs> yeah. was, and he got the arrested. The bomb squad got called. Did, was that ever on Is This Real Life for the show? Uh, I think we talked about it, but I don't just, think it was on that Just a segment. quick uh, summary. There was a gentleman <laughs> that made a comment going into a Home Depot bathroom that he was about to blow <laughs> this place fixing, up. I'm fixing to blow this up. And he meant he was going to wreck the toilet, and the police got called as a bomb threat. <laughs> yeah. Which Whoops. is just and Home Depot did not press charges. Oh which man, is good an for them. I'm glad. I'm glad they. Saw. But some of the patrons in the bathroom <laughs> with them did press charges uh, due to uh, give me give me due the to flights. due to yeah. Um, so the, the, let, I need a little bit of clarity on the luxury bus because in my mind, what I saw is like what. Um, it's got the Taj Mahal driving down the road. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, like bands. Uh, when when it's, they're it's one of got those their... oversized buses, yeah. But inside, it's not just a bunch of seats, right? And comfortable. No. This is like there's I, it's there's a, a lay bed. down. You can go to sleep. You can watch Netflix. Yeah, okay. on your this, Starlink. Yeah, now, it is a party. Now it does that the, would be nice. It, but it, I think the way that I know a tour bus is like the beds are just like the the stacked little nooks. This isn't a, a giant mattress in the back. If I get to like design a, like an RV, if I get to design the interior of this bus, <laughs> then I'm taking the bus. I, I'm sure that they exist. Yeah. I'm, I've got a king but bed the, it's a right in the call. middle, but it's round. I would take trains everywhere. If, if I got a cabin. Yeah. And I got fed food. Like what happened? What happened to this world? Trains yeah. were cool. Yeah. But, you know the, what else is cool? Architecture. We don't do that anymore either. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing I'm, Al shaking his head. I'm with he's you thinking, on that. You know what? I want a building to look cool because why? Because not it because it's should. cheap. Because I want to make it look cool. Yes, I'm I'm with you on that one. And but I want to take a train to go see that building. You can't. Trains still exist. Why no, they do not? Oh yes, they do. Tell me where I could take a train here in Arizona. Okay, like well, actually, like, like, actually, you can't take trains here. AZ train station, but uh, it. <laughs> wait, <laughs> Amtrak stations in Arizona. Looks like we have several. Is but we, not but with cabins. Am, Amtrak is that that's nice just, or that's that... like I I think there's nicer Amtrak trains. I don't know. What's the choo choo sound like? Do we get a real authentic choo choo you... on those, or is it more of a? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's more of a diesel. Yeah, that's the. I'm not. I want some magic here. I want the Hogwarts <laughs> Express taking me places. Well, trains do look different than that now, but I'm telling you, they're available. Someone tell me why you can't do this in a plane. Do which? Because I know we're trying to stuff as many people in the cabin to make it affordable. Oh, you you can. You certainly can. Have you not seen like the the but like, like the whole plane the should, Dubai planes? The whole plane should just be cabins that you buy. Sure, like a cruise ship. Yes, and mm. they could do that, but your seat is going to be, I don't know what. Twenty thousand dollars. What if seat? we make the planes as long as trains are? <laughs> I mean, that would take runways to a new level. I mean, Howard Hughes tried that, right? Mm. 
Yeah. Old, uh, what, Spruce Goose? Just a little disappointed in our lack of sophistication nowadays. Yeah. We can't appreciate nothing. Yeah, that's a bit, because they got to make grow, that. I'm going to grow up. We got to make that shmoney. And I'm going to build a cool building. <laughs> You're going to grow up. I'm going to grow up, and then that's what I'm going to do when I grow up. You're going to build a, a cool, cool building. building. Yeah, that people What's like, going to be inside? I'm going to probably have to make it like an old church, because that's what all the cool architecture was. <laughs> they are very nice There's buildings. a lot of churches yes. that they were just like, you know what? I'm going to make it nice. I don't know. Maybe a castle. We don't do castles anymore yeah, either. Why that's another problem I have with this world. <laughs> Just an, add it to the list. <laughs> the U.S. has a severe lack of castles. <laughs> I mean, there, we've got a, we do have like the, the one percent should all be building castles. That right. would at least be architecturally cool because we know they got the money to do it. Yeah, I would really appreciate some like just just near me where I can go. Yeah. look at that castle with a moat. I don't get to live there, but show I can me just that castle. Show, show. Yeah. The drawbridge comes down so the DoorDash can arrive. I oh, mean, you're that's what I'm like talking a, about. A moat and everything. Yeah. Yeah, you don't do a castle without a moat, Mike. Are you an amateur? <laughs> what <laughs> I mean, is this, what is this, this guy? guy not heard of a castle? <laughs> I never heard of a castle. Sometimes they're up on a mountain. Hey, Jason, what's in the moat? Alligators Thank and water. Thank you yeah. very much. I'm aware of what is in the moat. I'm not sure you were. <laughs> I'm going to medieval times. The now. moat is where I <laughs> clean myself, by the way. Oh, perfect. Although that's dangerous. All right. <laughs> Spitty City from Patreon. To keep someone from getting to you, would you rather there was a mountain high enough or a valley <laughs> low enough or a river wide enough? Oh, that's that's clever. I see what they did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is? A mountain high enough, okay. a valley low enough, mm -hmm. or a river? I'm going to take the river. Now, someone explained to me the benefits of a valley being too there's low. No, there's no <laughs> benefits no. there. Other uh, than the fact that would they also have to go up the other side of the valley? Well, that's hence making it a reverse mountain. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, an ups, it's just an upside down mountain. It's, it's, it is an upside down <laughs> mountain, but it's actually way worse because on the mountain, if you know, I I presume I'm up at the top. Yes, of course. Yeah, so I you have just the high ground. Yeah, I, so they got to go up, but on the valley, you got to go down and up. It's twice mm. as far. Well, yeah. I assumed on the mountain, you're on the other side of the mountain. Well, then and they you have to go, go up, up and, down. and down. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. They're going to get more sunburn on the climbing of the mountain. Yeah, that UV will get you. We that helps. learned about that. So my enemy will eventually die of skin cancer 20 years down the line. See, I wanted to take the mountain so that I would live upon it. Yeah. But you're telling me this is just yeah, The high ground the would way. be nice, yeah. Well, I mean, a river, is it's a moat. Like, this is getting you guys what the you want. The river wide enough is uncrossable. That's... I don't think you can get across the river. Well, if they have a boat. Well, okay. <laughs> I think they're doing it just with ease. I didn't know they got a boat, man. What do they get, like a helicopter for the mountain, too? Well, if the mountain's high enough, the helicopter won't work. Air's um, too thin. River wide enough is my final answer. Now, I, I think they're drowning. So let, let's set the rules. If the, it's just a person It's a, using their physical limitations. Yeah, it's like, basically, Mike, if I said, I'm going to get you. <laughs> yeah. And then this moment... You take off. I count to like, I don't know, 100. Mm -hmm. And then when I come after you, there's either a river wide enough, a mountain high enough, or a valley low enough. Valley's out. The valley's just. It's out. Plus, they can get down one side of the valley just like. Pretty easy. They pretty just easy. roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! Just, just do right. somersaults. No, not somersaults. They're lying, oh, lying the sideways. Yeah. The way you remember you did when you were a kid and you yeah. yes. roll down a hill? Boy, the funny thing the about big that. big valley, though. As a kid, rolling down a grassy hill. That's fun, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. The idea of you making me do that right now, <laughs> no. the the level of disorientation I would have at the bottom of that hill and injuries. And your allergies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> You'd just yeah. be wrecked. <laughs> you would just be sneezing. Um, Man, yeah, it's gotta being be, a kid was cool. It's got to be the river. That's I, a, that's I, I agree final. with you. If it's just a person, like you could take as much time to go across a mountain as, as you know, out uh, other than – starvation or or whatever if it takes days but you can't just take days to cross a river no it's not you, time you it's have like, to you have to be able to swim and keep swimming or you go you're just gonna drown yeah with a little current you're done by the way i and, feel like there was a disproportionate amount of kids movies that i watched growing up where the main challenge in the movie was some sort of like raging river with a with a like waterfall at the end of it, I feel There's, like yeah. We, in movies, there well, every river has a waterfall nearby in, in movies nearby. Yeah, I mean, I 
we grew up near the same time, and I don't remember. Well, you had cable. A disproportionate of my uh, amount of my movies. What having was that rivers. Jonathan Taylor oh. Thomas movie? The, the Out in the Wild. Man of the House. It is disappointing. With Tim Allen. No, no. It is really disappointing me, Mike, that you wouldn't. Remember. I just gave you a movie. You gave me a Tim Allen movie. Wild America. Thank you. Ah, okay. That was one of them. There was a river in that. And Homeward Bound. Guess what? Big oh, old yeah. river. Of course. And waterfalls. What about a river runs through it? Oh, waterfalls. Well, see, you were watching more advanced movies than I was as a kid. <laughs> also, uh, I looked it up because I needed to know. Uh, geologists and the Oxford <laughs> English Dictionary report that a mountain is at least 2,000 feet. Must, so, oh. So, so there's some like 1,900 foot yeah, hills that's, that's a that hill. are feeling all insecure yes. next to their mountain buddies yes yeah they didn't make it up to be a, a full big boy mountain oh that's disappointing but i mean two thousand feet that's that's a lot of climbing so you could convert a hill to a mountain yeah that brought that, in some yeah, earth movers yeah there's the hugh grant movie <laughs> what, what, is, what the hugh grant movie there I, can't be a movie without there, the plot there there is it's, no there's no, yeah, making a hill a mountain went up a hill came down a mountain or something like that i'll look that's the name i will i will look that one look up hugh grant mountain movie that sounds really good it, i saw this one in the movie theater you've got to be kidding me the <laughs> englishman who went up a hill but came down a mountain <laughs> i told you <laughs> Mike, That's the name of the Mike, movie? Mike yes. just fully redeemed the memory. <laughs> the name one... of the movie is the entire plot? Yes. That's How absurd. else are you going to explain a movie where, where they're trying to turn a hill into a mountain? Oh. That can't, one, that shouldn't be a movie. Two, the fact you remember it is incredible. Three, the fact you were in theaters for it is even greater. Yeah, it was... It, it turns out it was more like a love story. Yeah, it turns it was, out. It was not for You me. don't say with Hugh Grant. Um... <laughs> All right, last question here. Steve from Twitter. Would you rather receive $100 for every push-up you do or an automatic $2,200 a day for free? How, so that's wait. 22 push-ups a day? Yes. Oh, they did. give me that one. That, that's easy. Yeah. It's not just like I get – do your push-ups right now and that's it. I could do 22 right now. Yeah. It wouldn't be fun, but I could do 22. Yeah. And then I and, and then I do you it get, later and then you too. actually are like, hey, I did some push-ups. And you get stronger. Yeah, that's the, what I'm saying. Like the Englishman who went up a hill <laughs> but came down a mountain. And so just, about a town that wouldn't give up. A man who couldn't get out and the mountain that brought them together. Oh man. Did he bring dirt up this? Yes. <laughs> what? Come yes. on. This, this is the plot of the movie. He brought there, dirt. They they I think it's that they have a mountain. I believe it gets downgraded to a hill. You've got so, to be so they choking. so the town gets together and they just start they start bringing uh, dirt up to try and raise it up to be a mountain. That <laughs> is, I was the making most a joke. <laughs> insane thing I've ever heard. This thing, this thing I got, can't. Not only did it get greenlit, it it got finished and was released. <laughs> it got greenlit, <laughs> then it got made, then it got released. Yes. Now think about how stupid. The concept of that we arbitrarily as humans say this height is a mountain. We, there's there's no truth to yeah, it. I got we you. make it up. We get to make the rules, bro. During the days of World War One, a small Welsh town relies on its local mountain as a source of pride. When two English cartographers, <sighs> Reginald Anson and George Garrard, English arrived, cartography movie. arrived to measure the mountain, they discovered the landmark is 16 feet short of achieving the official <laughs> mountain <laughs> classification. Disheartened that their mountain has been deemed a hill, the townsfolk devise a plan to make up those 16 feet. Meanwhile, Anson falls for a local woman. <laughs> 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 just a throwaway at the end but really this movie is about the growing the hill that this is the greatest thing i've ever learned in my life my goodness we now, are, the only thing that would make it better is if this was somehow based upon a true story oh that part i don't know we'll find out soon in the meantime we're all doing the push-ups and we're moving on Today's episode is brought to you by our friends over at Rocket Money. Have you ever looked at your account balance and thought, what, what's, what's happening here? Where is my money going? 
Well, guess what? It might be your subscriptions. Your subscriptions might be draining your wallet. The average person has around 12 paid subscriptions, and they might not even remember subscribing to half of those. If you have no idea just how much you're spending each month, you need Rocket Money. It's a great app. It tracks all your expenses so you know exactly where your money is going. I have had Rocket Money for a long time. It is fabulous. They help me keep track of those subs. They help me keep track of just when a big when a big expense pops through. And I'm like, oh, I wasn't expecting to see that. It helps you keep track. So like you're you're on time with your bills and everything. It's just it is a fantastic finance app. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. You heard me right. Monitor those subscriptions, and guess what? Rocket Money will do the canceling for you. It's Canceling's just the worst, but not with Rocket Money. With over 3 million users and counting, Rocket Money customers have saved an average of $720 a year. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions and manage your money the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash ballers. That's rocketmoney.com slash ballers. Rocketmoney.com slash ballers. What's the difference between me and you? Me and you. All right, you you gentlemen, do you have the answer before I ask this question? Despite the implication in the film and the real life local legend, the story is fiction. So wow. much worse that it's fiction. Somebody, it, if it happened well, in real life and you read a book and you're like, oh, this boring idea is a good movie, that's one thing. But here's the thing it's fiction, but this is a local legend. So, like, this small Welsh town, they're passing this thing around, talking about how yeah, back incredible. in the day, our great grandparents. They turned this hill into a I am, mountain. I might watch this movie tonight. <laughs> I can't. I can't wait. What is the difference between a pub, a tavern, and a saloon? A pub e the saloon is easy. Yeah. Is that the double doors? It has to have the, the swinging uh, doors. The, the swinging doors. There's not actually an entrance. <laughs> like you can't right. close down you, a saloon. No, yeah, I've, I've wondered that. In the twenty four seven, there got to be twenty four seven. Right? It's twenty four seven. Yeah, one hundred percent. There's no. Because you door. can just crawl under the bottom. Yes. If you, yeah, this, you lock yeah, the if door. You lock the little the swinging <laughs> yeah. gates. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now a pub, that's also easy. That's it's across got, the pond. It's got to be yes. Irish. It's got to be Irish or yeah. English. Yeah, 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 any any yeah. English can any, have a pub. Yeah, European. It's got to be a European. There's no American pub. But a tavern, no. I feel like I, this is just me. I feel like taverns are darker. I feel like the interior, sure. like you could never go into a tavern Can't, and the lights are like. Fully on, yeah. No. Because they're can they're inspired by the candlelit taverns of the uh, the original colonies of of the U.S. That's, That's right. This guy's, if you go, this guy's blowing my mind. If you go from <laughs> the smartest man alive. <laughs> if you go from daytime into a tavern, oh. maybe you've experienced that. You can't see. Yeah. You you walk in and you oh, think because the, the contrast contrast. Yes. You you absolutely your eyes have not adjusted and you think that you're just in a cave. Yeah, I feel like we figured this one out pretty pretty easy. quickly. Yep. Now wait a minute. Mm -hmm. What happens if you've got double doors and very poor lighting? Uh, Can you be both? Can you be no. a... Yeah, I mean, I feel like... Which yeah, one like are a, you? A saloon You're doesn't have bright... None of these have bright lighting. Right. The tavern's just a touch darker. Okay. The saloon, like, even if... It's the cave of drinking establishments. Yeah, yes. But even if over in Europe, they have a... A pub that has the swinging double... That's that's a saloon. Yeah, if it's got the saloon doors... Yes. You're walking into a saloon. Mm. Wish we had saloons. <laughs> Another what? thing we're missing. Yeah. You want to know why you wish we had a saloon? Because it's open right now. It's it doesn't matter. It's open right now, and the reason we don't have them... You you can't keep anything in stock. <laughs> the, the, the theft levels of a yeah, saloon, it's incredibly high. So on this show, I realized, though, I do want to take a train <laughs> to a town to enter a saloon. So now you from a castle. You could have a saloon car on a train. Ooh. Oh, okay, I wasn't following for a second. Yeah. But again, it'll be really loud cuz there's nothing to block out the sound of the train. Elon. This is it. <laughs> this is the next thing. You can call it X train or whatever. X train. Saloon trains? No, I, the saloon uh, the fact that a, a train can have cabins for different things, that's fine. I'll walk up and down the train and enjoy it. There'll probably be a murder mystery on that train, too, because there normally are. Yes. 
All right. What is the difference between a detective and an investigator? Mm. Well, I think it's murder. <laughs> uh, the investigator is not part of the murder uh, yeah, investigation. They're, they're, invest they're investigating like fraud. Yeah. I mean, I, you, you, detectives do investigating. But if you're an investigator, you're not you're not doing a murder. I feel like are, are all detectives across the pond called investigators? You're saying no. in Europe? No, they had detectives. They had detectives too. Yeah, yeah I, I think I believe, so. I, I believe they had detectives so. and constables. Which would you rather be called? A detective. A detective for sure. What I kind deal of with hat murder. do you wear if you're a detective versus an investigator? Uh, you can wear a fedora if okay. you're a detective, but you have to have a beige, full-length trench coat if you're a detective. Yes. If that you're is an investigator, a requirement. you can dress however you want. Yeah, you yeah you can just have a regular jacket. So I can you do wear shorts? not want to be an, a detective in Arizona. Correct, because it's just so sweaty. But your skin's protected. Okay, I'm I'm down with this. What is the difference between hair, fur, and hide? Like a hide, not like and go seek. <laughs> right. Okay. That would not make sense. No. Yeah, like an animal hide, animal okay. hair, animal fur. What's the difference? Man. A hide is, 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 to me, complete. It's the whole thing. You can't have, like, a little chunk and say, hey, I've got an animal hide, right? It's got to be the whole... Like, I've got to be able to lay it on the ground and kind of see the shape of the animal. Yeah, and that means... Like a bear hide? And that means that there's skin coming with yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. This is... A hide includes Yeah, you're not, it's skin. not a trim. It has to include skin. Because yeah. if, if you were to pull uh, the fur off the animal without... Then, then it's fur. Yeah. And if, you don't con if you don't have the shape of the body with the skin... Hmm. Then it's just the, fur. The only the only question I have there is if you take the like there's fur on the body of an animal, right? Yes. But if I trim that off, uh huh, you're telling me that's still fur on the ground? That doesn't become hair? No, that's it remains fur. Okay, so then what is the difference between fur and hair? That's what we're here to figure out, Jason. Is that simply the difference between animals and humans? Well, animals, we don't have. We fur. are we do animals. Not, we do not have fur though. That's what I'm saying. So we're clearly not animals. <laughs> Right, I yeah. Yeah, you're reversing it, Mike. It's about whether fur and hair is the only definition between us. I think, is it just like thickness and coarseness? Yeah, but if that's true, which uh -huh. I think you I think you might be correct, Okay. then you have fur, Mike, because your Cause hair, I do have, I have thicker is hair, yeah. so thick. I think humans can only have fur in one place, and that's the back. Okay, yeah, okay, all right, okay, 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 yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Totally same page. It's the page. back. It's the back. Fur, if you, sure. if you fur, have hair, sure, yeah. if you have hair on your back, that is that's fur. But it could be mistaken for fur. Like because if if you were like hunched over, someone might think you're an animal. Now, question. So we have you know, dogs have fur, right? Yeah, I think so. Now because they they shed, mm -hmm. what do we do for? these the animals like the poodles and now the the crossbreeds is that uh, is that hair because that doesn't actually shed it does not shed is that poodle hair no that's fur mm. are you sure yeah i think it's fur I... if you went to someone to trim it what would they say they're trimming ah, the poodle hair <laughs> <laughs> poodle fur the coat yeah the coat the coat we didn't bring coat up well, I think a coat can only be a fur. You can't have a coat of hair, right? <laughs> hair goes on the head, right? <laughs> yeah, yes. I think so. Yes. Uh, I, I, I think we failed everybody on this one. Can you, uh, if it's fur, there are no wigs made of fur, right? No, they, they made wigs out of animal hair. <laughs> oh, no, oh. this is a nightmare. But we know I, the hide one, right? That oh, yeah. In. It's got skin. It's got it's skin. It's got skin. It's got skin. got skin. I need a real answer to Here, this here's question. What I, here's what my initial my initial instinct was that fur has to be a certain a certain, <laughs> a certain thickness. <laughs> I, I thought it's thickness. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, if, if you wear a coat of fur, because people do that, like... It's got to be thick enough to keep... I can't say the yeah. word. I can't. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm Duffy Duck. <laughs> like, Cruella de Vil. Yeah. Was that a... That was a fur it's coat. It's a fur coat. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm learning some stuff here about... Oh, we have please. Some answers? please. I don't so have... So, I got, I got bad answers. I got good answers. We need them both. Okay. Bad answers. Hair can grow on 
humans or animals, fur is only present on animals. Yeah. So that's stupid. But, wait, <laughs> but wait, humans wait, wait. are animals. That, but you, you know what no, it means. No, they're humans. Um, but I think the actual reality here is that hair grows and grows and grows and continues to grow. Oh. And you need to trim it. Whereas yes. fur... What does it reach a length and it pauses? It reaches a length and pauses. It can shed or that, whatever, but it, <clears throat> that makes so much sense. Yeah. It just, Wait, do I have fur on my arms then? No, you're you're. I don't, oh, because oh, it stops growing. It yeah. does stop growing on my arms. I like think I, you I've have, never shaved my arms, and I certainly don't have endless hair for miles. No, you have furry. Oh, arms. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. So that goes into the question of like the long hair dogs. They're called long-haired dogs. <laughs> oh, yeah. We just, I mean, it's in the name. It's literally there. It's, they're not called long fur dogs. Oh, man. But then there's short-haired dogs. Oh, no. We have, is, we have solved nothing. This is the hardest. Let me ask, let me put it a different way. <laughs> Audience, what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> let us know what you think in the let comments. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> well, we know what height is. Because we Wait can't a figure it out. minute. Scientific American says... On the question, what is the difference between hair and fur? There isn't any hair and fur the what? same thing. <laughs> That's oh, according no. to Scientific American. That sounds yeah, but who fair. are they? <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Um, do we have time for one more before the draft? Yeah, let's do one more. What is the difference between shades, curtains, blinds, and shutters? I, this one, I think we know. Yeah, of course, because we're human. Shades. No, I mean curtains. That's easy. Curtains are the the long fabric that goes yeah. over the window. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Blinds mm -hmm. are only contained within the window, and they can be vertical or horizontal. Yeah, they've got sl slots, slats, Sl <laughs> <laughs> they got, they got Slats. Slats. Yeah, we're gonna go Thank with you. slats, and we're gonna leave it there. Uh, and then shutters are wooden and open and have. The ability, like they're built in, okay, mm -hmm, fully mm -hmm. wood. Now here's and the then problem: shades. What's shades, the difference between a shade and a curtain? Because you draw your shades. Yes, but you don't. You draw the curtains too. Yeah, you do you draw, draw the, the curtains. curtains. I think shades and curtains are the same. Incorrect. Shades. Two different words. Is uh, is a is a shade one sheet? Yes. Like like a big blanket. Yeah. Curtains have two sides. They come together in the middle. Right. And a shade just goes across, it's and it's one piece. It's you're 100 percent correct. If I, you were to cut that shade right down the middle, yeah, you got curtains. What do you mean? So curtains? You're saying that a curtain cannot be just one single fabric? Correct. That's a shade. Yeah, 100. percent That's that's at least what we are declaring right now. Yeah. No, I think we owe it <laughs> so to the audience. Curtains Look, have a scientific American is saying curtains have a depth. No, they just they like a width, a uh, thickness. Well. I, I'm confused by your question, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so I, let's say a curtain was made of a material like a shirt. Okay, that does, that's, that's not a curtain. No, it is. Yeah, this has nothing that's to do with that's, but, but I'm not comprehending this come together thing. They oh curtains, from the middle. Yeah, they meet in the middle. Oh, I think that's just uh, that's that's hogwash. <laughs> No, what? that's that's what curtains no, are. No, that's what a curtain. Yeah, you what, got, are, what are drapes for? What it's worth. Drapes <laughs> are curtains. <laughs> that's. that's <laughs> Drapes or curtains? Yeah. Do shades, how close to the ground can they get? Shade will cover the whole window. But not go to the ground like curtains. Curtains no, it, can go all the way to the ground or close to the ground. Like when you see a movie and then the boyfriend's hiding behind something, what are they hiding behind? Well, it depends. Are there they, one or two? Is there one or two? Yeah. Is there one on both sides of the window? Yeah, because then he's That's hiding a behind a curtain. I don't know if this is accurate, gentlemen. I'm pretty confident. I, I, I feel real Scientific good about American, this. American, yeah. Okay, <laughs> scientific American. Let's draft. Today's show is brought to you by our friends at Nutrafol. You don't have to choose between better hair growth and your health. Nutrafol provides a whole body health approach for men that promotes healthier hair. 
No drugs, no compromises, just better hair. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement clinically shown to improve your hair growth, visible thickness, and visible scalp coverage. Go to Nutrafol.com slash men to take their hair health wellness quiz. Identify causes of your thinning hair and Nutrafol will give you a personalized plan for better hair health through whole body wellness. Nutrafol supports healthy hair growth from within by targeting root causes of thinning such as stress, hormones, environment, nutrition, lifestyle, and metabolism through whole body health. Take the first step to visibly thicker, healthier hair for a limited time. Nutrafol is offering our listeners $10 off your first month's subscription and free shipping when you go to Nutrafol.com slash men and enter the promo code BALLERS. Find out why over 4,000 healthcare professionals recommend Nutrafol for healthier hair. Nutrafol.com slash men spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L dot com slash men and enter the promo code BALLERS. That's Nutrafol.com slash men, promo code BALLERS. The Spitballers Draft. Today we are drafting the worst animals to be reincarnated as. Condor. (laughs) (laughs) uh, You're not up. I know. I have the 101, which... (laughs) Condor? I, I mean, I wasn't confident on one of them and i feel like i'd be hurting myself if i didn't select a condor yeah, with the 101 at this point <laughs> it's on the list already i'm not going to give that glory to somebody else oh that is that is so, some glory and, and and by glory means i will not be coming back as a condor congratulations i have just eliminated it from the list you can at least fly you can at least fly you but, get to fly away from everyone who's calling you hideous <laughs> i mean not to mention like condors also are uh what's the name for it but the kind of creature that just like carry on they just eat the scraps of meat of stuff other people have already killed is it like a vulture it's i think they, yeah, they they're much like vultures i can't think of the word right now vultures also very ugly for yeah, what it's but worth this is the first animal i've ever seen that makes a vulture look good <laughs> like a vulture a vulture would want to be near a condor be scavengers like, maybe? Yeah, yeah that's scavenger. it yep. so so which i think is a pathetic quality of an animal anyway I think those are the worst worst animals. So you're dunking on hyenas then? Oh, I'm dun- they're, they're on my on list. They're on my list. Oh. They're on my list because they're oh. pathetic. Yeah. Let's go get your own. I mean, they are. They're just taking the easy streets. They are. Work so smarter, not harder, the, man. The uh, interestingly ugly condor is my pick. All right. All right. Uh, my first pick, I am going to go. Look, not only when I was looking this up, not only is this creature just a a, a speed that makes no sense mm. due to how slow they are. But they're uh, apparently very dumb as well. So I will take the sloth. Yeah. Now, I understand you have... I thought Jason might like that one. You have an adorable factor because they are incredibly cute. But how? Wh- what makes the move <laughs> so slow? This is like the evolutionary rule. <laughs> like this animal... Should not have survived. No. I, I wonder all the time how this animal exists. <laughs> if You know, I, I know cartoons, they have like sloths and they're they're slow. But when you actually watch a real one, you yeah. go, whoa. It's not a joke. It's not moving, it, but it's at full speed. <laughs> it is moving right now. It's so slow. How could it ever get away from a predator? It can't. I don't know. It's impossible. And it lives in a jungle where there's... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but predators. Maybe uh, the they can't see it. It just looks it's too it's, slow. It's just like a well, like a dinosaur rules. Yeah, if you don't move. You can't see yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, it's, if it moves that slow, it's Drax. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just my movements are so slow. They're imperceptible. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and they're stupid though. So maybe uh, part yeah. of the movement problem is just being dumb. Yeah, yeah. I think if they were smarter, they, they'd be like, oh, check this out. <laughs> Look what I can do. They have to be able to move fast, right? It's a mental I, thing. No, I no, don't no. know. You think it's a mental thing? I 100% think you it's think a mental thing. You think that if they just had like some caffeine, they might start sprinting? I don't think that they're the one animal in the world whose muscles can't work faster. I think that they You would never choose. be tired as a sloth. I don't know, man. Have you ever tried to move slowly? you're always tired. Yeah, it, it takes a lot of activation of those muscles. The World Wildlife federation says sloths have an extremely low metabolic rate so this is which is why they have to move so slow then why aren't they fat (laughs) 
Well, they're, they're not skinny. Because they can't eat fast enough, Yeah, Jason. that's true. All right. Am I up? You are. Okay. So my 101 got to me. I can't imagine anything worse than this. And we're not doing insects. So I looked this up because I was like, is this an insect? This is a this is technically an animal. An earthworm. Okay. There is no purpose to your existence. You live underground. You, I, honestly, I, I, it was, I was thinking about it. In dirt. But then I thought it wasn't an animal. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I was just curious. I looked it up. A worm is... Worms are not classified as an insect? No, worms... Oh, because they don't have six legs. Yeah. Right? right? An insect has to have six legs. I mean, if you looked it up, Scientific American, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to allow it. I, I would still call it a bug. Yeah, it's, I yeah. mean, it's because it's small and nasty be, and creepy. If you could step on and, it and squish oh, it. It's disgusting. But no. could you imagine that life? Like, what? what is the... What is the life now, of wait, a worm. Now, wait, if you cut one in half, do you become two? I don't think earthworms do that. Maybe. I'm just because thinking they like, you could have a friend. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'm so lonely. <laughs> Split. Split. <laughs> Split. Okay, uh, so I mean, earthworm. The, the point of you is you're you're uh, going through the dirt. You're what, irrigating it? Can't think of the right word. Irrigating? I don't think it's irrigating. Aerating? Yeah. Aerating, thank you. Ah. You're welcome. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, what? I just Googled. I just wanted to remember how hideous this is i'm gonna draft the ugliest creature oh no on the face of he the actually jumped back by the way. i did i googled this one word and was terrified i'm drafting a blobfish yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it, <laughs> that was my original 101 it is <clears throat> beyond disgusting it looks like something from a a bad movie like a low budget movie that had to create some kind of monster but they didn't have like a talented person to create it or a big budget. So they just kind of made it out of Play-Doh yeah, and they don't have artistic ability. It's disgusting. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's not good. It's not good. Mike, it's back to you. You have a sloth. I have a sloth. I'm going to follow that up with a jellyfish. Interesting. What is a jellyfish even doing? It's just, just, just kind of blowing around. It floats around. It has no control over where it goes, right? No, it can't because it just goes wherever the ocean takes it. Now you you release your little tentacles out and hope that a that a fishy goes into it, and so you eat them. But other than that, you have you have no control. So your food whatsoever you're at of the your whim life. of the currents. Your yes. movement is the whim of the currents. Yes. You are mostly invisible. Imagine meeting a friend jellyfish, and then the currents take you apart. You got no way to stick together. Nope, nope. You can't trade numbers. You're basically a tree. Like you, you're you're <laughs> lifeless. A tree doesn't. Tree doesn't move. blow in the wind. I'm not, I'm, well, but, it does, but it doesn't move. My point is, <laughs> it. The, We're talking about jellyfish you have, you are have, like trees. You see, have, you have no control of where you're going. A tree, it's a, rooted. Yeah. My point. It's the opposite. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> One moves, one doesn't, but yeah. neither have any control. One's in the ocean to one. move. They they don't have the ability. Yeah, to, right. Like they're yeah. just well, they're just they're alive. It's but, a li it's but a, a tree can can grow taller. You don't think a jellyfish grows? But it doesn't. I would have gone tumbleweed. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> I guess All I was right. thinking just uh, something that is living. Yeah, that does nothing. Well, I don't know. Okay, okay. Tree, That's fine. It's a bad it, analogy. Yeah, it's not great. Trees are respectable. But what do you expect from a blobfish? <laughs> Am I right? But a jellyfish. This is, that's not a good life. All right, so I have to uh, I have to pick a, a friend for my condor. Yes. Um, this is difficult because I'm trying to think of a combo here. Some, some animals are ugly, and that's why you'd pick that you don't want to be them. You don't want to be... In, yeah, you don't want to be yeah. a blobfish. You don't want to be a condor. Um, some animals are just pathetic, in my opinion, like a hyena. But I think that... You say that to a hyena's face. I I'm think an, you're going to have to disagree. No, he'll wait for someone to kill me, and they'll come back and eat some of me. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with a mole. Okay. Because a mole is like an ugly -er earthworm <laughs> in a lot of ways. It's like sure. you're underground the whole time. You don't. I don't think they can see. I'd say, I th believe moles are blind. I think they're blind. They got like a starfish, uh, disgusto nose face. That's to put it. Have you, have you looked up a mole? I, I'm looking at it right now. I it's did not, not know that their nose did this. <laughs> I, this is a demigorgon. It's like a starfishy looking gross face. Uh, see, so, I would have gone I, on my list was mole rat. 
You should look up a mole. Oh, rat. I have that on my list. The too. naked mole rat. Yes. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> oh man, talk about a condor. The mole <laughs> rat. <laughs> Yeah. It's a condor if I've ever seen one. Oh man, the mole rat is something <laughs> special. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with a rabbit. A rabbit? Which, what? What? <laughs> you being a rabbit will be, be awesome. No, 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 no. Listen, yeah, I want this is that would make my list on like animals you want to be reincarnated. This is why at. I'm bringing it up. Okay. A rabbit. First of all, if you ever known anybody that wants a rabbit for a pet, they're stupid and horrible pets. Second. They're not. It's not Bugs Bunny. You're not hopping around all over the place being happy. Here's what you are as a rabbit. You spend your life trying not to get either eaten yeah, by predators. You are scary. not. You are only prey. No animal is more only prey than a rabbit. You hop around trying not to be eaten by hawks, coyotes, mountain lions, whatever. All you do is get hunted all day long. This is fair. And if you're not doing that, you're getting hit by a car. That's the two things that you're doing. You're and trying you're, to get across streets. You're not doing. You're not really hopping that much. And you're eating vegetables. And you're eating vegetables all day long. Rabbits are overplayed because of cartoons. If they had like yeah, tigger-like just... jumping ability, if you saw rabbits and they were exactly like they are now, except for they jump six feet. Rabbits could jump. Rabbits can jump super high. Yeah, like a jackrabbit. Are both of you contending that a a regular rabbit can jump six feet in the air? Because uh, yeah. if you show What's a me regular one, rabbit, a rabbit cannot jump over me. How high can a, can a rabbit, rabbit jump? jump? I yep. want to know what world you're four living. Feet. Four feet. Oh, darn. <laughs> four, a four-foot jump for a tiny little rabbit. Yeah. I have, I, to, to date, I have seen thousands of rabbits. I've never seen one jump four feet. Oh, it doesn't jump for you? It just doesn't, <laughs> it just doesn't see you and go, hey, rabbit, do a jump. <laughs> do a jump. <laughs> they're just get, never do it. Never listen. <laughs> they're just getting eaten by stuff. I don't want to get eaten by stuff. <laughs> when they're long. moving, they can travel up to 45 miles per hour. Rabbits are awesome. Yeah, rabbits are great. You want to know what they're doing? They're running into your garden stealing food. <laughs> they're awesome. They're cute. This is coming from a movie, right? This is coming from all what's, the rabbits in the, my neighborhood every night. What's the rabbit movie? What, Peter, Peter Rabbit? Peter Rabbit. Right? Yeah, oh, it, blo what is our channel doing right now? We're getting all the animals. Man. <laughs> no, I'm going the permanent prey of a rabbit. That's Because just, I'm just going to get eaten. Those are good points. All right, Mike, I, you're back. I will concede that. All right, so I have... Jellyfish, I have sloth. I am going to go. Uh, look, I'm look. It, it makes up for or, um, not makes up. It it joins your uh, your not attractive uh, face animals. And I don't really know what they do. I'm going to go with a turkey. Mm. Turkeys are disgusting and they, they taste good. Yeah, they're mean. They're, they're, yeah, they are, they're mean, aggressive, and I don't know what they do. <laughs> What's that thing called that they have? They got a gizzard or a... Uh, it's... Oh, we, we, we've a talked about this before. A, a snoot? A, is it a snood? It's a snood. Is it a... I'm going to yeah. look it up. Turkey. If you got a snood, I don't want to be you. Yeah. <laughs> don't <laughs> send see. it to me. So we got the snood, we got the waddle, and we got the carnuncles. <laughs> the carnuncles? No, no. Caruncles. Caruncles. Caruncles, yeah. A That's snood? Fun. Yeah, no snood picks for Dude, me. Dude, turkeys are so gross. They're gross. That's a good pick. <laughs> it's a really good pick. All right. I, when they're when they're hunting, I get it's it's a bird, but how do you not look at that face and you're like, ooh, I bet that's a tasty animal. <laughs> oh man. Condors must be delicious. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. All right, Jason, your final two picks. You have an earthworm and a blobfish, which I wouldn't want to be either one of those. Yeah, and so uh, this one is bad in a number of ways. I think they're ugly. I think they're disgusting. They also have terrible PR. Everybody hates them. There's nobody that loves this animal. This is a... I bet it could jump six feet. You wish. <laughs> <laughs> it eats <laughs> you wish. garbage. It eats garbage? Okay. And is a monster. Oh, okay. Lives in sewers. It's a rat. Mm. Oh, all right. I don't want to be a rat. I don't want to be completely hated by the entirety of it's the not world the people have pet rats yeah we had pet rats yeah rats are not hated by the entirety of the i will world. say this they are 99%. also nimble you can go hide wherever you want you can go kind of be like a you know you'd be able to watch anything you want sneak into anywhere you want and like but it is a hated animal you're the you're the, the king of the 
mouse world. I'm the right? bringer of disease. That's yes, true. you are that. that. You're the plague bringer. And yeah. and if you had somebody say, hey, what'd you get reincarnated as? And you're like, a rat. <laughs> that wouldn't sound so good. Let me put it this way. At my house, in my neighborhood, we have rabbits around. Bunnies? Mm-hmm. I don't know the difference between a bunny and a rabbit. We, whatever we have. <laughs> um, and I love them. And they're cute. If I had a rat right. at my house, you want to know what I'm doing? I'm not setting out traps for my rabbits. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> I'm bringing a company in and I'm going to make yeah. sure that these rats die. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, rabbits. So, I guess if a rabbit's hunted, rats are pretty hunted by humans. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So, I think the final one would be my final pick. <laughs> trying to that go. That would be your final pick. Hmm. I'm going to go with an ostrich. Oh, it's on my list. You know, it is very much on my list. You would be living in a permanent state of jealous rage. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I am deficient as a Don't call me a bird. Yeah. yeah. Don't call me a bird. I can't I pro- fly. Yeah. I can't fly. I'm mad. I'm angry. I put my head in the sand. I don't, but I people think <laughs> I do. Well, right. But- they they apparently do something where they like lay their head down. Also, they don't live in nice areas. You don't see ostrich out in like the beautiful. They're not in the forests. Yeah, they're not in the forests. <laughs> yeah, they're okay. they're out in the desert, just in, near the tumbleweeds. Do we have time for a quick sidebar? Sure. How come nobody's ever released different animals in different places? Uh, because they don't survive. Yeah. You're telling me. Maybe they did. <laughs> this is what I was thinking about. You're telling me if you brought in, I don't know, 600 tigers. Right. And you just release them into our north forest country. Right. They're surviving. Oh, it, that they would survive. You would but need a, a lot would, of them. They would destroy the ecosystem. Oh, I'm well aware of that. <laughs> yeah, so the, that's why I'm we just don't saying, do it. it but it feels, science. Like, <laughs> it feels like somebody would, like some arch villain or something. Would do it for entertainment value. I like feel like pe- he would. I would feel like that would be in a city. Sure. If it, if we're talking super villain, he's not releasing it in the jungle. I mean, and being like, ha, 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 there's a whole take category this trees. They're gonna scratch your bark. I mean, there's a whole category of like arsonists that set things on fire on purpose, and nobody's ever like, I don't know, put a bunch of grizzlies in the jungles out I, in. I think your examples are difficult because. The first part. You got to get them. You got to get hundreds of grizzlies. Yeah. Or, like if this was rabbits and you're like, oh, you know, uh, uh, rabbits, how would you do in the Arctic? <laughs> Let's go find out. <laughs> I avoid, the, I'd and... avoid the Arctic for most of these, but <laughs> I don't know. All right. Uh, Mike, final pick. Sloth, jellyfish, turkey. Cow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's not bad. Cow's, cow's a good pick. Like, look, cow, you're here. <laughs> For two reasons. <laughs> Number one, maybe you're a maybe you're a milk cow, and then you get to have a terrible life and give it and we steal your milk and you're just farty and gross and you stink. Or you're worse. Raised, or the worst worse. You're raised and you you say goodbye to your friends and they tell you you're going, you know, to cow Disneyland mm-hmm. and then, then you're never to be seen again. That's you are it. quite delicious. Yeah, I'm not going to argue with that. Now, I mean, if you're reincarnated in some places in the world, I, yes, you're that is true. Worshipped. Yes, yes. There, there are. How yes. long do the does a cow live if it was to die of natural causes? It's, it's never it's, happened. <laughs> 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 we, we don't we're, let them. No one has ever known. We're still waiting to find still out. Waiting. Uh, Fifteen to twenty years. And you, uh, you chew your cud too, right? Yeah, that and, sounds fun. And you have to. I think you have to like. Barf it up and then chew it again. Well, yeah, I, don't I mean, it wouldn't make it a cud if you didn't do that. <laughs> what is cud? It's, it's grass. Yeah, man. Why don't we call it grass? <laughs> because because, it, because, because they, cud, turn, man. they turn it into a cud. Um, so cow's a good pick. I have condor, mole, rabbit, and I'm going to finish it with partially digested food returned from the first stomach <laughs> for more chewing. So you got double stomachs oh, with man. the reincarnation. Yeah, but you have to you have to verp. Yeah, and then you gotta, eat and the grass. Eat again. your verp. <laughs> You don't want to eat your so yes, cows yes. are always they they're they, chewing on the they verb chew grass yeah mm-hmm. into one stomach yep they vomit it back up mm-hmm. so that so that they can chew it more yeah and put it in the second yeah. stomach and put it in the second stomach it's better the second time around so oh, it, it's man. partial broken down in the first stomach I I think that's what's going on you're a weird you're a weird cow Mike yeah. um condor mole rabbit I'm gonna go with skunk. 
Okay. I'm going to go with the skunk. Uh, I, look, maybe. Look, I literally am known for smelling horrible. Yeah. That's what I am. No one hangs out with me. Well, I'm a skunk. But you have a weapon. Yeah, you do. Like, I thought about putting skunk on my list because it was like, I, I understand how that's a good pick. But I was just like, if I ha- if if I am the skunk, if if that's my ability, would I hate it? You could become a skunk tomorrow if you wanted to. You can make yourself smell real, real bad. That'd be a cool weapon. Yeah, but you can't. You, it's projectile. You could put that in how your far, pocket. How far can a skunk do their, their spray? Let's find out. <laughs> a lot of Googling far, on today's show. If you show. Google how far can a skunk do their spray, <laughs> I'll be interested in the answer. 15 feet. Good grief. Accurately. Ac- oh, <laughs> yeah. Is like a hit a target like a sniper? Yeah. Like there's, there's like Hawkeye the skunk. It can cause significant I eye never irritation miss. and even temporary blindness. <laughs> to me, it was between the skunk in the face, in the face, <laughs> and the and a weasel. Okay, because a weasel they it, pop. Yeah, I mean, they just sound. It sounds like a terrible thing to be called. Yeah, we do use it in a derogatory sense. Oh, for I don't, sure. I don't know why people don't like weasels, but because they're sly, sneaky little scoundrels. Are they? Well, oh, that's, yeah. I mean, that's what they're known for. For sure. Like liars. Yeah. You're a weasel. <laughs> Gonna weasel your way out of that. Yeah. Uh Condor Mole Rabbit Skunk, Mike with a sloth, jellyfish turkey cow, and Jason with an <laughs> earthworm blobfish rat ostrich. Any other I I had the elephant seal in there, which is a heck of a condor of an animal. Mm. If you want to take a look yeah, at that. Yeah, for sure. I'll look at that. Uh, um I had let's see. Chicken. Yeah. It's like that, that's, oh yeah. That's not a good life. Mm. You just run steal it. your eggs or steal yeah. or kill you for meat. I mean, it's, it's a real cow situation. Yeah, and watch out for crossing that street. Um, I've got uh, a platypus. Interesting. Because you, you never know what you really are. Yeah. I'd like so to be unique, confused. Though. Yeah. But that's Do you just think confusing. they're confused? The yes. platypus is oh, like, yeah. what are yeah. all these things I have? I also had camel. Because part of me thinks it would be okay. cool to be a camel, right? right. You're like, you can run, you're big. But you live in the desert yeah but you're, you're, you're adapted yeah yeah but you're you, just thinking you, of heat yeah i just th- i think you would live in the heat and then best case scenario is some you have you to get, give rides you gotta give rides like, <laughs> it just doesn't sound fun how many uh humps do camels have like what what is the i think up to what's two? the range I just think there's two three are there is three there humped three? camels i think there's three humped camels are those uh dual so two people could ride <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, it. It's just the sedan <laughs> version of the camel. Sedamel. Uh, I think it's nice. just one or two. Oh, we I don't see. got the triples, huh? The uh, uh, A fun fact, though, about camels that I I seen the other day, a typical camel can drink 53 gallons of water in three minutes. Oh, so, my gosh. So if there's just like a big body of water, they just they put their face in and they turn into a vacuum. And they that drink. is so much water. <laughs> Imagine wow. drinking 53 gallons of water in three minutes. And this is a dumb question. Is the hump actually? No. Like, it's it not does. actually water. No, it's fat. Um, so why are they so good in the desert? Where's the water going? Just in there. They can drink it. How many stomachs does these guys got? So I, I just so I, I Googled about the humps. I wanted to know how many. And it, 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 there, there aren't three hump camels. But if you image search a three hump camel and you see one with three humps you realize there's no way there would ever be a three hump camel it there's just not enough space. there's not enough space for three humps it just it, not it have to be too long it's just not a thing man. oh yeah that looks ridiculous it just yeah, no one rides no one rides on that camel what did we learn today i learned a lot today so many things <laughs> i mean this was the most informative episode we've ever had um i i honestly I'm going to go recency bias here. I learned that cows eat their vomit. You also <laughs> learned what condors look like on yeah, today's yeah. show. Yeah, as a big learning experience for me. <laughs> I learned that we don't know the difference between fur and hair on today's show. Yeah, it was, it was the condor. And I didn't realize there were so many condor-like animals out there. Some animals were dealt a bad hand. <laughs> At least... Believe it's for cleanliness. Mm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Tell your friends and your family about the podcast. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers Podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.